a square ball into Sam and she was really frustrated at herself for not getting it right. Do you know, is, can you feel that frustration yeah, in the dressing room after? The players are disappointed. You know, if I if I turned around and said to you, well, who played well today for us? I don't think that would be a high number category. And I don't think it's because of intention. It's just execution. It's just when you're playing a 5-4-1 block where they're not coming out, you just got to be a bit more... Um, sometimes I think we want to win the games two, threes, four nils instead of actually we're one nil up. It's but a throw in that is that is that is such an asset to them because it's so dangerous throwing lumping balls into the to the front post. And let's be fair, it was Megan Campbell's first throw in. <laughs> they, they get a penalty from it, so it's like yeah, momentum is then in their favour. But not really. Two world class centre backs should deal with that situation, and we don't. And that's that. But at the same time. We haven't threatened their goal enough, so it's a team. It's a team effort, and for us as a team, I know we recognise that we're better than better than that for the execution of our game plan today. You mentioned mentioned my Jesse was out. Uh, and they, they present themselves. Uh, for me, they're not decisions for me to make. They're for marketing, commercial, and everyone who thinks they can put the you know fans in there, but. Say it again, it's marvellous, there's 3,000, but I think we have to fill this stadium first. I think sometimes we all get, you know, uh, unbelievably ambitious, which is wonderful, but fill this place and then we talk about it, or at least get half full here every week, not one week, for us to talk about the builds beyond our home stadiums. Catherine? Um, no, just one positive from saying obviously like, there's more to come from her, but how, how impressed were you? Yeah, with? she's 20, she needs situations like this I don't think she's had too many of them um, I think it's important we don't put too much pressure on Lauren and don't expect everything all of the time she's still a young player developing and I'm sure there'll be ups and downs for her this year cool thank you we're done yeah. Thanks, um, thank second you. half you seem to get a few more chances but oh yeah they're an amazing side had to defend a lot, um, but we knew coming into the game they're going to be a strong side. Uh, but we also knew that we had to believe in ourselves, and I think you saw that. It took us sorry, took us time to grow into the game, um, but I think we finally grew into that belief that we can compete in this league, and we've proven that today. Yeah, that second. Is it just to stay in the division? Or do you think you can make it the no, I think it's stupid to ever say you're going to stay in the league. Like we're here to compete. We're not here to survive. Like let's make a run for it. We're in the league to win each game, so. You're not going to go in any game expecting, you know, let's just try to be here and be happy. Like, we want to win every single game. So staying humble, staying confident, and making sure we believe in ourselves and grow throughout the season so we can finish as high as we can. I mean, you say terrible, but, like, they also scored in the first minute, so there's 89 minutes to score. So we had the rest of the game, and we knew that we had a good game plan. We knew we had the fight and the grit behind us, and... We saw that. We saw we had to grind for 90 minutes, but we had plenty of time to score. Um, obviously, they didn't make it easy. They were incredibly strong the whole game. And um, yeah, I think that maybe jolted us out of it. And we were like, OK, here we go. Now at the start. So it was a good rough start, but it was, you know, woke us up. Thanks, Katie. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Our first appearance in the WSL. Yeah. But you were absolutely buzzing for her. Yeah, she was fantastic. Her work ethic is unreal. She's a talented player. And I'm hoping now that she can take the confidence from her performance today. I mean, the way she won that second penalty was, was top, top draw. And, um, yeah, I'm really pleased for her. You can see the maturity as well that she showed to hold the ball up, to, to sort of say, yeah, look, this is what you are capable of. There shouldn't be no hesitancy anymore. You know, we should be in a position where we know we can compete at this level. Um, we frustrated Chelsea today, one of the best teams in club football. Um, didn't let them get in a rhythm, especially second half. And you know, we had we had made plans to finish the game how we finished it off, especially with Fernie and Meg. Um, the most important thing is, as today went, that we was always in the game, and I felt, especially with Meg's throw and the physicality with Yana coming on and Fernie coming on, that we could cause them problems as the game was a little bit more open. Shanice van der Sanden not in the squad today. Is she alright? Give you even more confidence, guys. Uh, it, it will, of course. Um, I've been really impressed with Everton. I think Brian's done a great job. What was Everton up today? Yeah, oh, did they? All oh, the right, okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, he's, he's, he's done. A, I think he's done a great job. Um, 
but yeah, no, we're looking forward to the game. We, we, I've said before, we got to make sure we play the game and not the occasion, because it's not Prenton Park. It is, it is going to be a different experience for our players. You know, we know this pitch, we know this stadium, and we've made it a fortress for ourselves. So yeah, we're looking forward to the obviously the game, and you can't beat the Merseyside derby. So we're really looking forward to it. Do you think it sets a bit of a 